Did you know that we are just days away from our very first intensive? Well, if you didn't, here's a quick rundown. This is a live online three-week intensive complete with vocabulary videos, interactive activities, homework, community interaction, and quizzes. Go to learnhowtosign.org to sign up today. Spots are limited and enrollment ends this Thursday, June 9th. And now to basic questions and responses. Hey signers, today we are focusing on basic questions and responses that you can start using today. In the first part of this video, we are going to focus on only questions, then later switch to responses. So be sure to watch the entire video so you get the complete lesson. Now, let's learn about basic questions and responses. Let's talk about questions. There are two main types of questions in ASL structure, that being WH questions and yes, no questions. With WH questions, you're going to take the word who, what, when, where, why, which, or how, the WH words, and put them at the end of the sentence. Your eyebrows are going to go down when associated with that WH sentence. And also, you are going to lean forward when you're signing that. You'll see that in the examples in just a few minutes. Now for a yes, no question, your eyebrows actually go up when you're signing, and you also lean forward when you ask the question. And again, you'll see that here in just a few minutes. ASL also uses rhetorical questions, but in this video, we aren't going to cover those. Now, let's learn some vocabulary. How or how. You're doing the sign how, but make sure that your eyebrows are down because it's a WH question. How, how, what, what. Your five hands are kind of bent in together, moving in and out. What, where, where. Your index finger is searching like a compass. Where's north, where. You, you. You're using your index finger and pointing to you, you. Name, name. You got your two fingers close together and bounce on top of each other. Name, live, live. You have A-shaped hands moving up against your body because when you're living, you're breathing. Live, A-S-L or American Sign Language, ASL. Bathroom, bathroom. You have a T hand shaking it back and forth like for the sign toilet. Bathroom, understand, understand. It's like the light bulb is coming on, understand. Hearing, hearing. This is referencing that hearing people talk a lot, hearing. Learn, learn. You're picking up something and putting it in your head. Learn. Help, help. This used to be the old sign for help, like you were helping somebody across the street. And then it changed in to this. You can also do this directionally. Helping you, helping me, or helping everybody, or helping somebody else. Help, want, want. You have bent five hands, bringing it in towards yourself, want. Now let's put these signs into sentences. How are you? How are you? What is your name? You name what you. Where do you live? You live where you. Are you hearing? You hearing you? Where is the bathroom? 
Bathroom? Where? Are you learning ASL? You? ASL learn you? Do you understand? You understand you? Do you want help? You help want you? ASL grammar is based on topic comment structure. So when you are giving a response, you need to think just that. Think of the topic of the sentence and how you are going to comment about that. You're going to see this in the sentences at the end of this section. Hearing, hearing. This is referencing that hearing people talk a lot. Hearing, deaf or deaf. It can go either way. It's just pointing to your mouth and your ear. Deaf, hard of hearing, hard of hearing. It's H, H for hard of hearing. Yes, yes. Your hand is representing your head nodding. Yes, no, no. It's like the letter N and O put together. No. When you use this index finger, you can point it to yourself, meaning the sign me. But if you point it to somebody else, you. If you point it around, you all. From your shoulder to your other shoulder, we or us. Or you can index to somebody wherever they are, or if you want to set them up, meaning this person, it, he, she. You're going to be using this hand shape and putting it up to your chest, representing the sign my. But if you push it out, it can be your. If you go to everybody, it could be yours, as in a plural yours. Ours comes around from shoulder to shoulder, and then you can point it to different people, meaning yours, its, hers, his. If you're getting value out of this video, subscribe and hit that like button. It really does help get the word out there about ASL. Now, let's get back to it. Happy, happy. Your hands are flat and they're on your chest moving up. Happy, fine, fine. Your five hand is coming right up to your chest, fine. So-so, so-so. Your hand is flipping back and forth. So-so. Bad, bad. It's the opposite of good. It just flips around. Bad, bored, bored. It's like you're so bored that you're picking your nose. Bored, busy, busy. Now, if you're really busy, you go to show you're really busy. Busy. Confused or confused. You're pointing to your head and showing that something's messed up. Confused. Confused. Excited. Excited. Your feeler fingers are moving up on your chest. Excited. Fine, fine. Your five hand is coming right up to your chest. Fine. Good or well. Your dominant hand is coming from your chin down to your non-dominant. Good or well. Tired, tired. It's showing your body slumped over when you're tired. Tired, mad or angry. Your hand is coming in, showing how your face is mad or angry. Mad or angry. 
nothing, nothing much. Your O hands are shaking back and forth. Nothing, nothing much. Sad, sad. Your hands are bringing your sadness down. Sad. Same old or the usual. You got Y hand shapes going in circles. Same old or usual. Scared or afraid or terrified. You're putting your body in like you're hiding yourself away. Scared. Sick. Sick. When people get sick, it's typically with their head and their stomach. Sick. Sleepy. Sleepy. It's like your head is nodding off. Sleepy. Now, let's put these signs into sentences. You might notice these sentences are in direct response to the questions at the beginning of the video. So, look back and forth to see how you would respond to the questions being given, or vice versa. I'm excited. Me, excited me. My name is Sarah. Me, name, Sarah, me. I live in Texas. Me, live, Texas, me. The bathroom is over there. Bathroom, over there. Yes, I am learning ASL. Yes, me, ASL, learn me. No, I don't understand. No, me, don't understand, me. Yes, 